Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are going to be speaking about Young Miami, there's some drama going online with her. So if you're interested in that, female rap, pop, conspiracy theory, strange topics, my popular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into real, go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. Okay, you guys, so Young Miami's in the news or whatever because apparently she's gotten some backlash after previewing some new music. If you know anything about Young Miami, a little bit before this, she was basically going through this new era she's trying out, I guess called the Yams era or whatever. I barely understand it. There is a story behind it, but the music that she put out around it so far just hasn't been that great. She put out that one song, you know, you're pretty when I make up huh you know i'm pretty when i make a uh these okay but wait yeah <laughs> whatever the attempt at a single that was um and then she's done some i don't know some kind of visualizer documentary style video attachment like i don't know what she's trying to do for real but like i don't hate young man or nothing like that but the music that's coming out around this era has just not been for me so far but she previewed this other song that's like an up-tempo party dance kind of track and it doesn't sound too bad but she's still getting like a lot of backlash online and i feel like there's a lot of reasons for this but i'm gonna go ahead and play the snippet let you guys know what i think about it and then we can get into what everybody's been talking about <laughs> Okay, that's all I'm able to play because I don't know if it's copywritten, it's on Instagram, it's on the Shade Room if you want to go listen to the full version of the clip, okay? But that was basically it or whatever, and people were saying a whole bunch of different things about the snippet. They were saying, oh, this doesn't sound good. Some people were saying it sounded good, but some people were saying, uh-uh, this doesn't sound it. This sounds like Saucy Santana. Some people were comparing her and JT. Like, there's a lot of different conversations. And overall, I just wonder how people feel about Young Miami as a whole. I mean, I see a lot of mixed perception just about her in general. Like, there are people who straight up act like they don't like Young Miami anymore. And they're like, Team JT only since JT and them are making music together like that, you know, these days. And that they have seemingly broken up. Some people have also changed their tune on Young Miami after the whole Diddy thing came out because she was with him. And so people speculate, like, how involved was Young Miami in it? Was she a victim or was she affiliated in all of the weird stuff that was going on with Diddy behind the scenes? Like, some people are skeptical of her, in a sense. And so I feel like they don't like her because of that and also because she was named in court documents. And then, two, just with JT and her music right now, the reception and love that City Cinderella has gotten, also singles like Sideways and OK and No Bars, how they took off, you know, JT's affiliation and camaraderie with Nicki Minaj and just JT is doing things. She's doing things. She's moving along in her career. She's setting her herself as a standard. Um, you know, she is doing her thing. She she has motion, whether it's a whole lot of motion or not, whether she's on a level of Cardi B or Nicki Minaj or whatever. No, but she is trying to build herself. And I feel like ever since JT started getting that, you know, shine, the connotation around Young Miami has been different. You know, people don't mess with her. They'll pick JT over her or they'll shade, you know, Young Miami in, you know, around JT or, you know, they'll make fun of her because of the Diddy thing and try to make her, you know what I'm saying? There's just a lot of negative things associated with Young Miami at this point. And then on top of that, on top of all that, on top of Diddy, on top of JT, when she releases music, her music isn't good. Like it doesn't hit like how it used to hit when the original City Girls were um, a thing. You know what I'm saying? And so she's getting clowned for that on top of on top of everything else. And it's like, the reception around her isn't good. Me, I notice everything that's happening, but I don't comment on it or I don't feel a certain way. I hope she wasn't involved with the Diddy stuff in a negative way. I hope she wasn't doing anything crazy in regards to Diddy or nothing like that, but I don't feel no ways about Young Miami, personally. I don't feel no ways about her at all. I hope that she's doing better now, that she's not with him. I hope that she's making better choices as far as men go. 
and friends and situations. You know what I'm saying? I ho- I wish the best for her. But there's a lot of hate that I see directed towards her. Um, so in regards to this situation, though, the main hate I was seeing was in regards to the music, but other things, too. Just people saying slick stuff, you know? So you guys let me know, though. I'm curious, like, how do you feel about Young Miami? Like, do you have a feeling about her? Do you like her? Do you not like her? Um, do you plan on supporting her? Like, if she puts out music that you're messing with, are you going to go and listen to it? You know what I mean? Like, where are you guys with her? That's what I want to know. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and get into some comments. Okay, let's get into some comments. It's giving 80s hoochie mama. Let GT have her moment. Just wait a little for your turn. Damn, I'd rather hear sweetie. Oh my goodness. She need JT real bad. JT coming, JT coming. I like Miami. She has a fun personality. Why every time JT drops something, she drops something right after? Does she do that? I don't, I've never paid attention to that. Like, I've never noticed anything like that. But maybe she does. I don't know. It's given turn it off. Oh, so now y'all don't like Carisha? Please. Yeah, I feel like a bunch of different factors cause people to start acting different towards her, you know? Carisha comments, y'all bitches love playing on my top. Bitch, please. It's shot o'clock. Then this person says, I'll never switch up on her. She held her own for years while carrying that duo on her back. Miami deserves her own success and it'll come. Just get the right single. Oh, that was a really sweet comment. And yeah, she did. She did really do a lot to support the city girls, you know, while JT was uh, away in jail. So yeah, got to give her respect for that. Um, Unpopular opinion, she's a better artist than JT. Her and Tantana really are the same people. Someone said she got a hit. Um, I'd have to hear the full version of the song. Like, from what I heard of it, it sounded okay. Didn't really sound that amazing. It sounded better than the last song she put out, though, that's for sure. It'd be nothing but black women hating on other black women in the comments. This is sad for real. She and Santana truly are a match made in heaven. Who keep letting her in the studio? I hate how they switched up on her. This is an example of a man's actions can hinder or help you. Double-edged sword. But Carisha carried the city girls for the longest until JT came out of her shell for real. So why everyone going so hard on my girl? They both good for something. Oh my gosh, I just stuttered so hard right before I started reading this comment. And I deleted the edit, but I, I literally said Merzik, like Glorilla. I said, now she want to start taking Merzik seriously <laughs> after she after uh the love jt been getting um so sick of this type of music like is there anything else to talk about damn it's giving what it's always gave absolutely nothing oh damn so she's just gonna act like diddy ain't never pee on her oh my gosh was that necessary to bring up in regards to her music snippet like damn y'all are so messy every time jt drops something young miami start dropping like who's really streaming this lady Girl, you free. You ain't gotta make music no more. Classic example of your best friend being your biggest hater. Ain't JT just drop an album? Oh, so people are getting at her for trying to release around JT's time, I guess. Uh, yes, the City Girls need Young Miami. Songs hard. Young Miami and Trina should do a song together. Ooh, excuse me. Um, ain't nobody asked for this. <laughs> Carisha, please. It's a no. Bye, Geishlin305. I don't know. Um, love Miami and JT, wishing them all the success in their solo careers. That lady screamed to free JT the whole time and performed by herself even when y'all was making fun of her. Stop pushing the narrative that she's hating on JT. Yeah, like, they, I think they're fine. I mean, it seems like they're fine from how they talk about each other, so let it be that. Uh, TikTok comments and Instagram comments are two different things. They love the song on TikTok, LMAO. Oh, really? I ain't check. I haven't been on TikTok like that. I'm convinced Santana goes writing this song. I love Carisha, but I wish she would show JT just a little bit more support. Oh, so y'all are saying that she isn't acknowledging JT during her, you know, like album and her mixtape re- release and she's putting on me. Oh, okay. I can see where people might think that there's a problem there. Or maybe they're just both trying to go their own way and like not acknowledge each other. I don't know. Somebody need to tell her that damn voice is annoying. <laughs> what the fuck is this genuinely okay you guys so that was a lot of the comments it was mostly related to music and like stuff with jt but you guys let me know like again like i said how do you guys feel about young miami as far as her music solo without jt not really feeling it so far 
um if she puts out an album or a mixtape or something i'm gonna listen to it i'm gonna review it i'm gonna give it a shot but like i'm not expecting much you know what i mean but anyway you guys let me know and i love you i'll talk to you in the next one bye